Welcome to this Integrated Math 1 practice test for 10 Ready TCAP. Question number 27. We're in subpart 3, almost done. The expression 760 plus 22t represents the total number of students who graduated from Andrea's school T years after 1998. And we need to find values that complete these sentences. So this matters. It's a big deal. I'm going to relate it back to this. It's two separate parts of the old slope intercept form. Now, on a graph or mathy talk, I guess, it, the B part represents the Y intercept. But what does it really represent? It represents some form of starting point. The slope, as it were, either goes up, increases or decreases or nothing and stays the same from a specific point. So we refer, uh, we can view that as where everything starts. The other part represents change, specifically the x being the part that you feed into the change and the m being how much it changes each time. So change and how much I guess would be the m here. So we're going to go back and look at this. In our equation you'll notice that the x and the t are sort of uh, the they're related in some way so the part that represents change would be 22t whereas the starting point would be 760. And this is all based off 1998 so our time stamp starting point is 1998. Question says the first one, the number of students who graduate from Andrea's school each year is what? So if we're starting at 760 and each year I'm going to add 22 over and over and over again, that part that's changing, which would be the number of graduates that change the overall number, that's where the 22 comes in. So the part that uh, adjusts the original number over and over and over again, the amount that that happens, that's where that's your M, that's 22 in this problem. For number two, the total number of students who graduated from Andrea School through 1998. So in all the existence of her school, which is apparently very small with only 22 people graduating at a time, this was my starting point. We also identified our starting point and the timestamp of 1998. So number of students at this point, that's where it all began. So 760 is the total number. Where did they get 782? Well, they just added these two things together. But if you can reorganize your thoughts a little bit around slope and intercept and think of uh, slope and intercept as being a starting point and a component of change, I think it might make these types of questions easier as you go forward.